Invoices are omnipresent in everyday life. So you constantly deal with invoices, but relatively few people take these invoices 100% seriously and as important as they actually are. Because a major problem in the daily life of almost every company and almost every freelancer is incorrect invoices. A proper invoice has certain specific details and if details are missing, this invoice is incorrect. And no input tax can be claimed from incorrect invoices. This means that if you receive an invoice that is incorrect in any way, you can no longer claim the value added tax, VAT, on that invoice in your VAT pre-registration. This results in the invoice amount being higher for you. You must, of course, have a strong interest in ensuring that the invoices you receive are correct. On the other hand, you should also have an interest in making sure that the invoices you send are always 100% correct. Because if they are not correct, your customer will have the exact same problem. Then your customer cannot claim the value added tax, VAT, but you still have to pay it. First of all, an important note. You will find a checklist linked in the video description below. This checklist includes all the necessary components that should be listed in an invoice. This means you can download this checklist, print it out, hang it on the wall, whatever you like. With this checklist, you can check whether all the invoices you receive are really proper and of course whether the invoices you send out are actually correct. An important point is that not every mistake necessarily needs to be corrected. So if it's about simple number transpositions or typos, they do not need to be corrected if the context and the clarity of the invoice are still clear. So if I receive an invoice and it says Melchior Naumann instead of Melchior Neumann, it is still clear that I am the one being referred to. If the address and everything else are correct, then this invoice does not necessarily need to be corrected. However, if important components of the invoices are simply missing or completely incorrect, then the invoice must be corrected. For example, if the invoice number is missing or if the service date or service period is often forgotten. If it is not listed, then this invoice is incorrect and input tax cannot be claimed from this invoice. Or the description and the type of service or products that were sold, this must always be absolutely correct. Whenever the invoice is incorrect, it must be corrected by the invoice issuer. And that is a very important piece of information. As the recipient of an invoice, you are not allowed to correct the invoice yourself. This must always be done by the person who issues the invoices. Let's take a closer look at how to properly correct an invoice to avoid any legal issues later on. There are essentially two scenarios to distinguish. One scenario is that an invoice has not yet been recorded. Specifically, this means that this invoice has not yet been circulated. That is, you have not yet saved it as a PDF, you have not yet recorded it in your accounting, etc. And your customer simply hasn't received it yet. Then this invoice has not yet been circulated. The second scenario is always when the invoice is already in circulation. That means when it has already been recorded somewhere. So, if you receive an invoice via email from a service provider, then this service provider has probably already recorded this invoice on their end, and this invoice is quite obviously already in circulation. Then it must be corrected differently. First, let's take a look at how to correct invoices that are not yet in circulation. The correction is actually quite simple. You can simply delete the document you have in your invoicing program and create a new corrected invoice under the same invoice number, then send it out. But there is also no document that prescribes that an invoice must consist of a single document. This means that if you have created an invoice and have forgotten important details or intentionally left them unanswered and they are still pending, you can supplement this invoice with a second document. For example, if you forgot the invoice number on your first invoice document, you can simply create a second document where you write the invoice number. It is important, of course, that you refer to the invoice in this second supplementary document so that it is clear that everything belongs together. Of course, these documents that belong together must always be recorded together, both in your accounting and with the customer, because it must be traceable later that this collectively forms an invoice. Practically speaking, in everyday life, in most cases, the simplest solution is to just delete the incorrect invoice that is still only in your system and issue a corrected invoice. The situation is more complicated with invoices that have already been circulated, which is the second scenario. Then there is already an invoice. So for example, if you have issued an invoice for a consultation day, but you have forgotten the customer's address on the invoice, or you have not specified your service date. That means you didn't write down when this consultation day actually took place and you sent this invoice. And now your customer is complaining that this invoice is incorrect. Admittedly, and rightly so, because your customer cannot claim value added tax, VAT, from this invoice. This means the customer is entitled to a corrected invoice. What you must not do now is simply correct this invoice and then send it again. Then there are two invoices with the same invoice number and that must not happen. What you need to do is honestly a bit tedious. 
but it has to be done to ensure everything is legally sound. You need to create a cancellation invoice. So let's assume that your first invoice, the incorrect invoice, had invoice number one. Then you create another invoice with the invoice number two, specifically a cancellation invoice. A cancellation invoice looks exactly the same as your invoice number one, just with negative signs. That means you create a cancellation invoice and it will then say consultation day minus. And then you send this cancellation invoice to your customer as well. In your accounting, you can now balance the invoice and the cancellation invoice with each other and they have essentially neutralized each other. Your customer can do exactly the same and thus keep their accounting clean as well. And then you have the opportunity to create a proper invoice with all the details using invoice number three, meaning the next invoice number. It is important that you follow this process. This also applies, of course, when you receive invoices. If you receive an incorrect invoice, you will need a cancellation invoice and a corrected proper invoice from your service provider or supplier on top. This means that if an incorrect invoice has been circulated, you will ultimately need three documents, the incorrect invoice, the cancellation invoice for the incorrect invoice, and the corrected final correct invoice. Otherwise, this can lead to problems during the audit and results in a large value added tax, VAT, back payment. I know this whole topic sounds relatively trivial. However, I really want to raise your awareness about it. This is an incredibly important issue and in our daily work, in collaboration with our clients, it is by far the most common mistake. It is so everyday, so trivial and so simple actually, that many, many people forget about it. But when you add up value-added tax, VIT amounts, they really add up to significant sums. And that is why my appeal at this point is to take the correction of your invoices really seriously. If you have any further questions, feel free to leave us a comment under this video and I will gladly try to help you. If you're thinking, okay, Invoices are one thing, but who will then handle my bookkeeping, my VAT pre-registration, my tax return, etc. You don't have time for that if you have to focus so much on your invoices right now. You can find out all the information on how we can help you by clicking here or just watch one of our other videos on this channel like this one or this one.